So if you've played Subnautica before, you might be aware that you can find water throughout the game. It's not too hard to find either, you, it's kind of just right there every time. And on this channel, we've kind of pushed the boundaries with the water before, where in one video, we literally just removed it completely. But what would happen if we pushed it the other way around? How would it feel for the entirety of Subnautica to play out in the void? Well, that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Okay, so, uh... Here we are. It's uh, it's a brand new day in uh, nothing. There is just no game here. We've essentially deleted everything, including the logo, apparently. Uh, this is gonna be a cursed one, isn't it? So I put the water level to be plus 10,000. Normally it starts at zero, which should give you some idea of what we're gonna be climbing up here into. Alright, let's give this a try. There's that one obligatory bird. Dear Lord. And I believe we're being pushed up by the life pod. Let me let me leave that. Say bye bye to this bad boy, cause I'm pretty sure it's just gonna keep rising forever. The surface of the water is more than ten thousand meters above us, which I believe is actually outside of the boundaries of the game world, so we can't even teleport that far up. But welcome to the safe shallows. Which should probably at this point be uh, called the safe deaths instead. Because even though the lighting might be kind of bugged, we are, as the HUD suggests, 10,005 meters deep. We're, I mean, we're getting close to like the Mariana Trench here. So when you reach the 999 mark, which I assume previously was the zero depth level, the game kind of thinks you're out of the water. Like, I can't swing, swim up using spacebar, I have to swim up like so. But that is really weird, you still get that effect. Which means that that effect is actually uh, tied to how far out you are on the Z-axis in the game, which is a cool detail. Okay, so my plan is to start heading towards the Aurora first, because I want to check out a few things there. I also switched it to night, which I think fixes the lighting a little bit, makes it look a bit more immersive. This is straight up like if Subnautica was at the bottom of the void. The lighting kind of opens up after a certain depth, you can see there's a very hard transition there. And we can see a starry uh, sky for some reason, but don't question that too much. Alright, I don't see any stars this way, which means that that black giant mass must be the aurora. This is just giving me some really uncomfortable vibes, how I can't see anything in front. Oh, it's right here. That is the aurora. It's literally not visible from any further away, and there is fire underwater, which is always nice. But yes, as you can see, if I turn off the fog, we are indeed swimming all around the Aurora. So that's something. This is what it would look like if the Aurora had crashed down in the void. You would just reach it and suddenly you would see it when you were, when you were like this close to the ship. That's quite bad. Also, the lighting for my Seamoth is really glitching out here on top. This place was never meant to see your flashlight. Guys, it, when you clicked on this video, did you think it was going to be this cursed? But this does give you a pretty good sense of scale on the Aurora, compared to the Seamoth. I mean, it looks so hilarious. What a ship. Look at this. I mean, this is horrifying. So here we are, next to the Aurora. This really triggers some sort of phobia in me, I don't even know what to call it. And this is just my tiny little Seamoth that could. I'm gonna guess the Reapers are somewhere down there, off of the edge of the Aurora, but... I mean, I'm not gonna go there to find out. Instead, why don't we go and see what the explosion of the ship would look like underwater. Alright, so here's the ship. I'm just gonna go back out a little bit and let's see the explosion. Oh, there it goes. I mean, I guess the ship exploded? It's kind of hard to guess. Yeah, I can see the metal exposed now, but look at that. Oh, that is freaky. It's just completely in the dark. This is what it would look like if you were to explore the Aurora, had it crashed into the void and you had to like dive down there to be able to retrieve some blueprints. This is kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie. 
And yes, yeah, it's just me pretty much exploring the sunken aurora. I mean, it probably should not be burning underwater, but then again, there are types of fire, I believe, which do burn underwater, so who knows? Okay, this is certainly pretty freaking cool. Well, let's go see some more stuff. Okay, so in the interest of keeping things very cursed, welcome to the floating island. This is the, uh, well, I mean, it is still floating, to be exact. It's just not on the surface anymore. I'm gonna try to swim all the way up to that Degassi base. Oh, here it is. Hey guys, welcome to the Grand Reef Degassi base. Uh, it might look a bit different than you're used to, but, well, this is like some nightmarish dream that Riley would have while sleeping on 4546B. You just dream of himself flying around the place while everything is submerged. Okay, I turned on the filmic color grading, and this looks a bit better, I think. No, it actually looks like we're at the bottom of the void. This is weird. I don't know how I feel about this at all. It does certainly feel like we're at the bottom of the abyss though, that's for sure. Okay, I oh, I hit the water again. Jesus, the jump scared me. It looks so weird because the whole thing is underwater. It is odd, isn't it? Oh wait, I have another good idea. Let's go check on the sunbeam. Alright, so here we are next to the, um, the giant alien weapon. What am I even looking at here? Oh, it's the de-extinction mod. I totally forgot I had to stay on. Okay, let's see what the sunbeam event will look like, I guess. Okay, ooh, it is moving. That is not a nice thing to see, just this giant thing moving underwater. Okay, let's see if we can spot the sunbeam. Alright, sunbeam should be coming in. Are we gonna see the laser? The gun is tilting. Okay, I, I hope this looks awesome. Oh, okay, we're charging up, we're charging up. Oh, and there goes the sunbeam. That was a bit less uh, epic than I thought it would be. I guess sunbeam just got converted to a submarine ship. Okay, I have another thing that I want to try. You think maybe I could now technically swim up to where the sunbeam normally spawns so I could actually see it with, well, everything. What did I just do? Excuse- Riley, please. What are, what are you doing? You need to look okay, well, uh, right, we're going this way, I guess. This is gonna kind of side-eye the location. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. So it's it's kind of in this direction. Hey, look at this, guys. I'm about to meet Sunbeam. Finally gonna get extracted. This thing is far away. It really makes you feel like it's closer than it actually is. Ah, yes. Riley's just... What? Riley's having a good time here, isn't he? <laughs> Excuse me? What happened to his legs? Okay, you know what? Never mind. It's too much effort. Yes, this, is this how it ends? This is just heaven on 4, 5, 4, 6 Bs. This is where all the fish go when they die. And there's some fire rating gowns that might be held, but... Well, guys, but there you have it. This is Subnautica. If it was taking place at the bottom of the void, essentially, it's, um, it's really something, you know? I, I don't think it's playable, nor do I really think this is something you should try on your survival world. I don't think you could, because your life pod is just gone. But hey, if you just want to kind of mess about and have fun, you know, hey, this mod works. I mean, it is a bit glitchy, but it is fun. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed. And with that, I'm going to leave you off for this video. If you enjoyed, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. All of those would be very much appreciated. And if there is any other mod that you would want me to check out, or any other crazy episode idea that you would want me to try, make sure to leave that down in the comments as well. I would very much like to read it. Now with that, I'm gonna wish you all a beautiful rest of the day, and I'll see you in whatever next video I make. Bye bye.